All right, hey guys, I am back for the Winter Games Rookie Division Hole Number One Revision that I mentioned that I was going to get you guys. So here you're going to see that I have Thor's Hammer selected. Uh, I'm going to pretty much yeah stick to that bag that I have here for kind of bailout purposes. I believe yesterday I used a katana ball. I want to use a katana ball again. Now there, there's a reason that uh, you know I recommend going for the uh, slice shot on this hole, and we are going to use that method again today. Um, and the biggest reason that uh, you know I'm going to encourage, if you're in rookie division, to go for this shot. Um, I think yesterday I was running out of time. I didn't hit the full hook. So this time I'm going to probably, you know, I'm going to use very similar aim. Not much is going to be different. But one of the biggest reasons that I recommend going at it this, this way is because you can see, I'm going to just ever so slightly take off some of the power of the top spin. I'm not sure I'm going to need it because I can already see the aim arrow up by the hole. So I'm just going to try to use that to my advantage. And like I said, you know, I'm going to be a little bit more time conscious. So when I set up to do this shot this time, I am going to make sure when I'm hitting this curl here that I am getting absolute most slice. And that's the only real difference from today and yesterday should be. And here you're seeing a much better line. It's just rolling into the fairway. So you see if you have a driver that has a little bit more curl, this is going to be an easy, even easier pitch for you. And as you can see, you know, I'm pin high. So if I could just bend it just a little bit more, and you know, that's kind of where Thor 2 or Thor 3 would come in handy. Uh, of course, you can do the extra mile as well. It just has no, mine has no accuracy whatsoever at all right now. It's like seven accuracy. So the bullseye is like super huge. And I just really don't know where to set up to aim. But if you can use my reference point, if you have a Thor 1, or, you know, it should be a similar reference point for extra mile. So wherever I was aiming should be somewhere in the proximity of where you'd need to aim. Uh, of course, if you have a better driver in terms of curl or something along the lines, you know, power isn't really the, the huge factor here. If you had a Rock 5, you know, that would be equivalent power-wise to what I was just doing. And you'd have plenty of curl to go about doing the shot as well. Now, I should have checked to see how accurate my rapier is. I do believe that it's maybe about 60 accuracy. But that is a total guess. And um, so hopefully I can get this pitch guessing. Um, I'm going to go roughly about a little bit over a ring here, I believe, for my adjustment. And hopefully we can get this for you guys. And you'll be able to see a good start. Uh, a good video. That's, oh my goodness, that was perfect, and it stopped. So that's one of the disadvantages to not really have the ball guide right now. As you can see, I kind of got bad luck. Maybe the difference between whether or not I decide if I'm going to play this round through or not, uh, we'll see. I'll, I think I remember saying that I'm gonna get you a, a revised tournament, tournament here for guide for hole number three as well. So I'll do one and three and then just kind of make the decision after hole three. But I would have really liked to have seen that ball roll out just another inch. I wouldn't have thought downwind that ball was going to stop. I didn't even put backspin on it, I don't believe. And I had the ball guide kind of right at the hole. So that's a little disappointing, but uh, it happens. Like I said, you know, I could come back tomorrow and probably get that pitch by using this tournament guide. So hopefully you guys found this beneficial and uh, hopefully you guys can get that easy eagle on this one. Like I said, you know, distance isn't the, uh, the important factor. I'll go out to my driver and before, I'll go out to my driver for you guys and 
show you the stats on it because if you can get a similar power number, that's all you're going to need to do to hit that curl shot. And you can use a, uh, a pretty similar reference point to where I'm aiming. Now, I don't usually use the reference point. If you want to know a little bit more about my hook slice method, um, I have quite a few drivers where I covered pretty extensively as to how many rings to go to count. And that's the way that I do it. I count rings because that's the only way you can be precise. When the wind changes, there's no way you can be precise if you're just using you know certain landmarks as reference points so that's why I don't really care for that method too much so here you know kinda of messing around I, you, I, I usually wouldn't go for this shot but I'm just doing it just to you know mess around a little bit I don't usually go for the full backspin shot because you have to land so close to the fringe on the backbone I usually just bounce it up. Um, if you guys are wondering how I'm going to play that hole, you can check out my tournament guide for hole number four. And that's pretty much universally how I play this hole. It's kind of the way that you see me do it there in four. So good luck with uh, getting your eagle on one. And like I said, I will back out here for you guys as soon as this guy hits. And as you can see, it looks like he's using kind of the beginning of the fairway as a general guideline for his ball landing, which is very similar to how I usually do it. I was just kind of messing around with this shot, and I almost maybe might have got it had I hit my perfect ball. It would have been close, I know that. But it is what it is, no big deal. Wish that guy some luck. And let's go out to my bag real quick because I want to show you that, you know, for hole number one, power isn't the reason. It's not going to be a big, my power is 220. So like I said, you could have rock. So the 217, this is what I'm talking about. The only thing I'm missing is a little bit of top spin. So if your rock is a little bit more developed, look at the curl number. That 53 curl is enough using a very similar align. Like I said, you could practice that line today. If you mess it up today, you can correct it for tomorrow. So going at it with a rock, with a katana, um, if you have just a little bit more topspin, you don't even need much. And go with the full curl. You can maybe get it on the green using an aggressive line like I did, which was kind of landing, kind of centered in the fairway, but to the right still. Um, hopefully you guys can get that uh, eagle on that first hole and get a great start for your tournament. And be sure to check out my other hole guides. Um, they are up here for your guys' benefit and to hope you help you guys get uh, you know good numbers on your tournament. So keep me posted with what you guys do in the tournament and uh, good luck out there.